All right, so when someone asks me, Travis, are you a hooker? Are you a top roll outside? I tell them, very simple, the technique is high side pressure. And that's it. So I'm going to try my best to get as high at the beginning as possible. Meaning the webbing between my index finger and knuckle is going to be even or maybe higher than my opponents. That's the goal. Now, I'm telling you this, so your goal too would be to maybe equal that. So I'm not telling you to get high to cheat. I'm telling you to get high so that you're not being cheated, right? So if someone asked me how to correct anything, how can I get around? I tell them a simple thing, just make a fist. So what does that mean? It means this, right away, when you make a fist, it's very simple, right? You're just gonna close your hand as tight as you can. So naturally, one of the exercises that you're gonna wanna do is you wanna get your hand as strong as possible. I see people with big handles. Igor Mezarenko has every handle in the world. But the fact is, is your hand is strongest when your door knocking knuckles are lower than your fist knuckles. So if there is something in your hand that causes your door knocking knuckles not to be even or lower, in your fist knuckles, then your hand is about to start to open up. So for my hand, and to make this fist as tight as possible, I do two things. First thing is we all do pull-ups. So as I'm doing pull-ups, whether they're neutral grip, straight, whatever, it's always kind of helping your hand out. But the most important exercise for me is to find whether it is um, a strap, a rag. For me, I just use a t-shirt normally and I'll wrap it around my hand. And when I make my fist, I make sure that my door knocking knuckles are lower than my fist knuckles. If you spend time with a big fat object in your hand and your hand half open, you're gonna start to believe that your fingers are strong enough to withstand that pressure. But the truth is there's no such thing as a, sm uh, a strong hand, but there are people that have a smart hand. In other words, their connection allows their door knocking knuckles to be even with their fist knuckles. So when I train all the time, just squeeze hard as I can, always keeping my door knocking knuckles lower, never like this, right? Always inside. And then whenever I get to the table, you know, regardless of the position where they set the guy, I know that I'm not going to be comfortable unless my fingers, we need back pressure, up pressure, all that good stuff. The problem with back pressure is most of the arm wrestlers, whenever they're trying to perform any sort of back pressure, the first thing they do is throw their feet forward and then they lean back and they do develop some good back pressure. The problem is if you are leaning back and have all your weight backwards, you have very little side pressure. So the secret is for me in my high side pressure is to have back pressure that doesn't cause me to lean backwards. I need to hold back pressure, my elbow up away from my body and under my hand, okay? So that back pressure right there is, is the pressure that starts the movement. So for me, I wanna make sure that the exercise that I'm doing is simple. I'm gonna pull this strap here and remember, I'm making a fist. So if I'm making a fist, one thing I'm never doing is holding on. So when you don't hold on, a lot of times you have to go to the strap. So this is the exercise that I do every day for my back pressure. So uh, the strap is connected to something that's heavy enough to keep the resistance. I have this set up at my house and I have markers Right, I have a marker for if I want to be Cobra Rhodes. Then I have a mark if I want to be Todd Hutchings. And then there's a mark way over there for, for those guys right there. So you have to get really strong. So what I want is to connect this to my fist. If you'll notice, this strap is not around my hand. It is only connected to my fist. So a lot of times, if I ask most of you guys to come up here and show me your back pressure, you would immediately lean back and then you would start walking back. And not that you don't have a lot of good back pressure. However, when you're leaning back, 
you have very little opportunity to move sideways. So the most important exercise for back pressure is to make sure that your elbow is away from your body, right? Underneath your hand so that you have the ability to have back pressure, but still have your balance leaning forward so that I can move sideways. So here, elbow under my hand. Now I start to walk back. As soon as the resistance stops, I just put a mark right there. So I know exactly how strong I am at all times. So as I'm leaning, as I'm moving this back pressure, you notice I'm still have the weight on my front foot, meaning I'm leaning forward with the back pressure and I still have the ability to move side. So for you guys, your back pressure can't put you in an unnatural arm wrestling position. And a lot of times we train leaning back and we don't have great posture. And then if we are lucky enough to get someone's hand, we may have put ourselves in a position where we don't have enough side pressure to finish them. So we understand two concepts. The first two we'll just reiterate. The concept is to just make a fist as tight as you can. Let the other person worry about trying to control it and either hook you or top roll you or press you. You keep your, or I try to keep my concentration very basic, right? All I need to do is make a fist, get it super high as I can and hit really hard. So one of the worst things about arm wrestling, in my opinion, is trying to develop side pressure. Has anyone ever, um, does anyone know why no one has any great side pressure exercises? The answer is because it hurts really bad, right? If you get in a natural arm wrestling position and you pull sideways, it is a very unnatural motion for your shoulder and more importantly for your elbow. So over the years, all I would hear is, oh, you need more side pressure. You need more side pressure, get more side pressure. And then I'd go in the gym and, and then, oh, my freaking elbow is killing me, right? So I needed a plan, right? The plan is I need side pressure, but I am kind of soft, right? Sensitive guy. So I don't want to be in pain all the time. So luckily the Lord has given me amazing timing, right? So it's not that I'm the fastest guy in the world. It's just that I started before you. So because of that, I have a unique ability to move the match before my opponent does. So my theory is that I can move myself into a position that doesn't hurt. And then I can work my side pressure from there. So my side pressure is right here. I have a strap here. A lot of times it's a rope, right? And I hook the, uh, the leather strap that you see the abducting exercises, all the girls in the gym do that. So I put that strap there. I usually have a guy there tug a worn on the thing. And for me, it's not as much pulling as just resisting. So what I've learned is that if I go sideways, there's a place where it stops. And then I learned that if I move my elbow forward and the pressure starts to go down my forearm, that I can go a lot further. So, God forbid that I ever do end up in any sort of a hook match, but if I do, because of my training, because of the side pressure, and because I'm always trying to resist opening up, I've learned that you can change the angle so that the pressure is going down your forearm and you'd be surprised at how much more that you can handle. So, I've taken this starting position, I've figured, that most of you guys are not very athletic and that I'm going to get the jump. So if I get the jump, I can move this way, elbow up a little bit. And with this position here, I can move sideways. And the worst thing that happens is my arm opens up, but it does not hurt. So I can do this for hours, you know, in a training session, rather than being on any sort of machine that would cause my elbow to be in such pain that I couldn't work out as long as I needed to. In my opinion, the best arm wrestler in the world, he doesn't have a typical job because he needs to spend 
a lot more time than normal people working on his craft. For me, it's about four hours a day of super duper low intense stuff to get ready to be at my best. And 20 years ago, it was, you know, a half hour a day trying to go as heavy as possible. So if you can make a fist super tight, you have enough back pressure in your hand in a balanced position and you have enough arm strength. It doesn't have to be the best side pressure, but you need enough side pressure for the match not to start in a position that you don't want to be in. Не пропусти юбилей на Виндет 50 в руне. Покупай газировку, подкорм и наслаждайся харизмой Лората, также другими поединками. Ну если же у тебя не получается приехать, ссылка на трансляцию под роликом.